All right, guys. Hey, if this is not a blessed sight, then please let me know. Okay, lots of stuff going on here. Uh, about to embark on a sauce. So, hey, uh, always fun to look at the raw ingredients. Guys, oh, look at that. You know me and the chocolate habaneros. This guy here, actually a black stinger. Uh, looking really nice. Uh, moving over to our Jalokias and on to what could be our pink Trinidad Scorpions or pink Scotch Bonnets. Guys, I can't really tell them apart. Uh, moving over, we have a Dagger Pod and uh, a few uh, Seven Pod Primos. Moving down here, a Lemon Jalokia with some white bullets. And here, I believe we have, these are Seven Pod Jonas, I believe. So, hey, uh, going to be uh, thrown into a new sauce. So, hey, uh, use this as an intro. Uh, bring you the sauce when we're all done. And, uh, hey, that'll be pretty fun. So, guys, let me go to work, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, bye-bye. All right, so how was that for a delightful and delectable intro for this episode of Taste Panel for Chili Nerds? All right, guys, hey, so we're fast forwarding the action here, and uh, like they do on a cooking show, and uh, we have the finished products here. All right, so hey, uh, don't plan on doing uh, too many more of these kind of like uh, panel homegrown episodes featuring my sauces however we might squeeze in this last one here guys uh, only because it's not every day that Maruga peppers find themselves here on this channel so hey y'all gonna take advantage of that uh, you saw the bag of Marugas uh, from the other episode we did uh, eating that Maruga pepper guys I said I was gonna make a sauce from those peppers, uh, I did just that here in this tall and unique bottle. Uh, we've created Maruga Machine Gun. Uh, this is my Maruga sauce, guys. Uh, kind of on the thick side. Uh, features pretty many hot Maruga scorpion peppers in there. Uh, plus uh, an array of other things. Uh, was kind of uh, after the... Uh, after that pepper experience, I knew this guy was going to come out hot no matter what I did. Uh, but did uh, throw some other things in here. We have an apple in here. Uh, we do have, uh, we have uh, some pluots in here. Some cantaloupe in here. Uh, we have some uh, dark cherries going on in this guy as well. And uh, yeah, a peach in there too. Uh, onions, garlic. All kinds of spices going on in this guy. Uh, no, uh, no way to avoid or no way to beat the heat in Maruga Machine Gun. Uh, sauce here, uh, really haven't had a grand opportunity to taste it in any detail, guys, because after eating that pepper, the last thing I wanted to do was eat more Maruga stuff. So, hey, uh, right here, uh, is the, is the debut of this right here on the panel today, the Ruga machine gun. Okay, also, hey, uh, the peppers you saw at the beginning, uh, those were some of the peppers featured in, hey, Pepper Masters Private Reserve. Hey, this is kind of a call out to my dad, who uh, you, you may have met on the Garden Update episode. Uh, he's really the guy responsible for uh, doing all the gardening work and maintaining the garden. So uh, I've been calling him the Pepper Master because, uh, hey, he's been doing such a good job this year with this stuff and uh, kind of learning on the fly and, again, doing a great job. So, hey, this sauce is kind of a, 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 a nod of the, or a tip of the hat to him. Uh, uh, features all peppers from my garden. Uh, and uh, yeah, all stuff that he helped uh, helped uh, to uh, bring about and to grow and uh, be formed in this bottle here. So uh, also in here, guys, uh, uh, as we had the really hot one going on, uh, 
want it something, even though we have a lot of those super hot chilies in here and the sauce does have some heat, I wanted to cut it a bit on this guy because I maybe get something a little more refreshing because I uh, have a, a whole batch of this stuff hanging on uh, and I'm all about the flavor as well as the heat. So uh, this guy here kind of wanted to make kind of a real end of summer sauce, uh, maybe uh, before the real uh, cool weather comes in. Uh, this guy here uh, featuring uh, again some pluots, an apple. Uh, inside of this guy, we also have star fruits, uh, some cantaloupe, and also a little focus on the melon there. Added something called the pepino melon. Uh, first time working with one of those. Uh, really strong melony flavor. It really comes through at the beginning when you first put this uh, sauce in your mouth. It has a really nice kind of refreshing and juicy melon quality to it. I'm attributing that to both the cantaloupe and to the pepino melon. Again, onions, garlic, uh, savory stuff going on, lots of spices as well. So hey, uh, two new sauces uh, coming your way here on, uh, on the panel. Uh, I was thinking about trying a little bit of this maruga sauce for you. Uh, again, um, let me get this off of here. Uh, I'm going to slap a little bit of this down. Don't really know how hot this came out. I uh, had some feedback, uh, people saying it was pretty hot. So I'm going to actually give it a little bit of a go here and uh, let you know. Uh, aroma coming off of this guy is really chilly smelling, no doubt about that. Uh, kind of has a slight under, uh, like an undercarriage, I guess, of fruitiness. So that's uh, going on behind the scenes there. But uh, uh, the chili's definitely coming through. So hey, uh, not every day we get to try a maruga sauce. So uh, here, might as well try my own. Uh, again, body kind of on the thick side. Actually came out kind of medium. Some of it gets stuck there in the thin neck of the bottle, giving it a thicker appearance than it actually is. But hey, there's some body going on there. Spice is going on in there. So hey, let's give it a try. Hey, Maruga machine gun. Wow. All right, guys. Hey, it really captures a nice fruity sweetness up front with that kind of uh, the peppers themselves had a little bit of a fruity quality as well uh, this guy here though with all the fruits I put in kind of nice and sweet up front my guys it does have a really really good heat catching my lips really really hard uh, catching uh, the, the roof of the mouth starting to catch a glow. Now the cool thing about the Maruga pepper is that it uh, it really had this super time delay. You put it in your mouth, you start chewing it down, uh, gives you lots of time to analyze that flavor. If you caught the video of meat and pepper, uh, the heat is a slow builder, but wow, does it build big. Uh, right now, really catching my mouth pretty good. Uh, Definitely, uh, definitely a step down from the pepper itself, but uh, still really warming down the chest, down into the stomach area. Uh, these marugas are kind of actually a little bit on the wild side. Uh, again, uh, inside of the roof of my mouth being caught here, uh, down in my lower teeth area, gums below the tongue, and gums up here. Uh, what's not happening here in this sauce, which we caught with the pepper, was a really bad back of the throat burn. Uh, this guy here has a nice balance of flavor, uh, has a really, really strong heat. Uh, possibly my strongest sauce. In fact, I'm going to say this is probably the hottest thing I put together, obviously, because those marugas were so hot. So guys, I'm trying to step up the heat here and there. Don't ever want to lose track of the flavors in my sauces either because I'm a, a definite advocate of uh, flavor and heat. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice stuff going on with this guy. Uh, so, uh, flavors right now, chili's just kind of 
replacing those sweet notes, but the sweet notes still hanging in there, and that is pretty cool as well. I like to get some of that fruity quality up front in my sauces. It kind of has a nice blend as you get the good sweetness, gives way to the rising heat and to some nice chili flavors. And right now, my mouth is on fire. My tongue is on fire. Roof of the mouth, lips are on fire. So uh, definitely some heat coming through in Maruga machine gun. And uh, hey, yeah. Well, hey, well, I have all this stuff going on. A little bit of garlicky notes hanging in there. A little bit. I have some oregano in here. That's kind of hanging on in the background. The flavor profile here, kind of bringing those dry spices to the foreground. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to throw out. Got a really good warm chest down the throat here. My chest kind of has a sting going on. Uh, kind of cool for one of my own hot sauces to... Uh, Cause me a little bit of pain going on, a weird burn, kind of just driving right down the center of my chest. Uh, but anyway, uh, talking here, a little bit of light-hearted things going on. Guys, yes, I do check out other chili channels, uh, kind of fun stuff. Believe it or not, uh, there is a percentage of people who watch chili shows uh, who are not interested in such things as ingredients of sauces or construction of sauces or looking at different types of chili peppers or uh, even just basically learning and watching reviews of stuff uh, just for the sake of the flavor and for the sake of the information provided. Uh, a lot of people are in here and watching these shows for the shock value, okay? So it's almost like uh, the entertainment value or that kind of the video game action part of these shows. Actually kind of, I guess, wanting to see people sit back and do some suffering, I guess. And ah, there's some fun to that. I understand where that angle's coming from. In fact, uh, hey, well, before I even started the show here, I used to watch some of those chili shows. Yeah, guys, believe it or not, I'm not the first, nor will I be the last to do this type of stuff. Hey, nothing new under the sun. Uh, but anyway, of the chili shows I used to watch, kind of, uh, kind of would watch those shows and uh, kind of see the reaction of the hosts and uh, watching them uh, struggle through their adventures with hot sauces and peppers. But anyway, uh, bottom line was, uh, when I started doing the panel, I quick realized that, hey, there's a certain amount of hype going on out there on some of these uh, some of these programs, believe that or not. Hey, I know everybody has a different tolerance and, and all that type of thing, but, uh, but I think, uh, uh, again, a lot of people want to see some pain, a lot of people want to see some agony, so sometimes people tend to bleed on that type of thinking and uh, <clears throat> actually steer away from uh, telling the tr the actual truth of what things are, kind of putting on a bit of an act and and uh, carrying that stuff out to theatrics and extremes. And that's been one of my issues uh, with uh, some of these chilly shows from day one. Uh, you have a show like this, you call the truth. Uh, some things are terribly hot, and others just simply aren't. So, hey, at the risk of making a boring show, hey, at least you have an honest show going. So, anyway, kind of just a, a, a something I've been thinking about. I've been watching some shows. Uh, happens a lot in some of the celebrity shows, where there's uh, where there millions of hits and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but... Uh, Anyway, also, uh, in an interesting thing, I was looking, I read through the comments, too. One of those people that reads the comments, not only watches the video, see what people have to say, see what feedback comes up and everything. And uh, a lot of the times it's, it's uh, oh, how do you have such tolerance to do this? How do you, uh, oh, how do you do the, eat that hot pepper like that or eat that hot sauce like that? Uh, there's kind of this uh, kind of superhuman image being put forth of doing this type of stuff. Hey guys, at this show, hey, we talk many times. Uh, we talk how often about the sufferings of Christ, okay? The sufferings he went through for you and I, okay? The sacrifice of Jesus, okay? For all of mankind. All right, 
we talked and we looked at uh, we looked at books uh, like Tortured for Christ and some of the books about India. Uh, we see the persecution going on there, people being tortured for their beliefs and the strength that they have to stand by that faith. Uh, Christian books we're reading, obviously, it's a Christian show here. So, uh, so the center of that would be their faith in Christ and how they're, uh, they were willing to endure the tortures just like Christ went through for them and uh, keeping strong in their faith. Okay, we have uh, the military, at least the U.S. out there, lots of people, other places, different parts of the world where there's soldiers out there fighting for the freedom of their countries showing bravery in the field, uh, having machine gun fire and bombs and landmines and dealing with the aspect of death on a daily basis and having the strength and courage uh, and the values to go forth for the freedom of their country. And uh, also, uh, we, have, uh, we have people facing death with uh, cancer or debilitating diseases and taking that and having the strength to get through every day and uh, until knowing perhaps that death is on the way but has still maintaining their faith and getting through with strength and faith in Christ and uh, but hey anyway um, are we called God to be afraid of a pepper so hey again just you know, tongue-in-cheek stuff going on here on the panel today, but uh, funny stuff nonetheless. When I sit down and I think about this stuff and I watch this stuff, and uh, again, like to support uh, the other chili channels out there. I think it's great that so many people are involved. Uh, whether you're in it for a genuine interest in the sauces or in the peppers, or if you're just in it for the shock value of watching somebody's face turn red and. Uh, hiccup and sweat and get tingles through their fingers and face. If you're in it for that aspect, hey, that's cool too. But uh, just interesting things that I picked up on. Just thought, passing thoughts. Just sharing with you today on the panel. Because hey, we got a relaxing, lighthearted show going on here. Uh, Maruga sauce. A uh, uh, multiple hot pepper sauce going on here today. So, uh, hey, just think about that. And uh, I'm into that as well. So, hey, guys, uh, just going to wrap this little supplement here. I hope you had fun. I had fun uh, bringing you my sauces again. Uh, again, we're not going to do too much more of this, but I did want to feature the Maruga sauce because I think it's pretty cool that we have Marugas going on. Uh, really garlicky flavors lingering over my tongue right now. Uh, a little bit of a black pepper flavor going on as well. Of course, the chili notes of those marugas giving a slight astringency going on there but astringency kept to a minimum because we got a lot of fruity flavors going on early uh, never really developed into anything uh, horribly astringent like the pepper did so oh, excuse me get a little gas I told you there was some issues going on with the chest there right off the bat so guys hey yeah we're gonna wrap it for this uh, uh, read your Bibles say your prayers and I will see you next episode alright bye bye